have left it very late, monsieur. Late for what? Anything. I am closing the museum soon. You wouldn't like to get locked in. I can tell you. Not in this gallery. Why not? It is haunted, monsieur. You don't believe in ghosts, surely. Oh, yes, I do. Seven years ago, a lad managed to hide in here. He'd made a bet with his friends, I suppose. When I found him in the morning, he was cold as ice and stiff as a board. Well, what was the cause of that? They said it was a brain tumor. But on his face was a look of stark, desperate terror such as I have never seen before. Scary. Can you give me any further information about the tripod? Certainly, monsieur. It's infamous. That tripod, that belonged to John D. What's the importance of John D.'s tripod? D was the most famous escapologist of the 16th century. The Odini of his time. Don't you mean alchemist? Escapologists use ropes, chains, and handcuffs, not tripods. Well, whatever he was, that is the tripod he used in his experiments. What kind of experiments did John Dee perform with his tripod? Oh, the usual. Uh, didn't you study chemistry at school? Yeah, but we skipped over thaumatology. Can I take a closer look at the tripod? What? Get it out of the case? Ah, uh, no! That tripod is protected by a sophisticated surveillance system. How sophisticated? A painfully loud alarm bell. How is the alarm bell triggered? By the slightest pressure on or movement of any part of the case wherein that tripod is situated. It strikes me that to call your alarm system sophisticated is, well, stretching the truth a little. It has never failed yet. The sophistication is in its simplicity. The sign on the tripod says, it was found at a Templar preceptory. It does? Yeah. It doesn't mention John D. at all. Most remiss. You don't know anything about the tripod, do you? No, I don't. I never had much of a start in life, you see. I owe a little education again to my uncle. He was an optician, but he also doubled as a village school teacher. He taught me the alphabet. Away there. Ninety letters of it. The bottom row of the chart was uh, too small even for him to read, so he left them out. Why don't you start over and enroll for adult education? You know, I never thought of that. Do you think if I studied art and did all my homework, I could be a professor of history? At your age? Dream on. Thanks for your help. Hi, André. Hello, Georgie. Have you ever heard of the Hashashin? Why, yes. It was a radical Muslim sect whose name became synonymous with murder. It was formed in 11th century Persia, shortly before the Crusades. At roughly the same time as the Templars. Yes. They gave a new word to our language. Assassini. The Assassin. How did the assassins get their name? From the legend surrounding the secrets of their initiation rites. A young man who sought to join the sect was given hashish until he drifted into dreams. He awoke to find himself in a fabulous garden with everything he could wish for. The freshest water, the most delicious food, the choicest hash, and the most delectable women imaginable. Cool. Do you have the address? I haven't finished the story. There was a price to pay for this taste of paradise. Wouldn't you just know it? The young man would wake the next day to find himself back in the real world. He was told that he'd been given a glimpse of a heaven reserved for holy martyrs. A heaven he would enjoy for eternity if he was willing to join the Hashashin. How did the assassins operate? Well... As I explained, the new recruits would be only too willing to die for the cause. 
They'd be instructed in the use of the dagger, poisons, and disguise. Then the Grand Master of the sect would name an enemy of Allah. And they'd stop at nothing to eliminate that enemy. You got it. They were fearless and deadly. Does the cult of the assassin still exist? Take a look around at the world today. You tell me. I think you ought to know that the tripod is going to be stolen. The uh, Lochman tripod? No. It's true. I can give you a description of the thieves. Before the supposed event has taken place? I heard them planning the raid. They're wasting their time. The tripod is protected by a state-of-the-art alarm system. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Why don't you loan the tripod to me for safekeeping? Because I'd never see it again. But well, don't you trust me? It's not a question of trust, George. That tripod is hundreds of years old and extremely fragile. I get your point. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. It is closing time, Monsieur Lobino. Already, there just aren't enough hours in the day. More than enough for me. I can't wait to get home and put my feet up. Eh bien, see you tomorrow. Good night, Monsieur. Hey, Guido! Look at this! Quit fooling around, you moron! Get your ass over here and bring that flashlight! What the... Who's there? Let's get out of here! And when I woke up, I was at the police station. Luckily, I managed to persuade Rosso I was innocent. Poor George. What a mess. I bungled the whole thing. Oh, I don't think so. You made a pretty good job of distracting those two crooks. Yeah, but the killer got away with the tripod. No, he didn't. He's not the only one who can dress up in costume. You mean... It was you who stole the tripod? Oh, hell, Nico. I could have been shot. Those dogs are more likely to shit their own feet. I just wish you'd told me your plans. We're supposed to be in this together. And how come you dressed up like a pantomime cat? Don't suck, Georgie, please. Oh, rats. And don't call me Georgie. Oh, I really thought you'd be pleased. After all, we've got the tripod. Aren't you going to try putting the gem on the tripod? I guess so. Nothing happened. Yeah. The gem fits perfectly, but what does that prove?
Maybe the tripod has to be in a certain location. There's nothing on the manuscript to indicate where, though, is there? Oh, by the way, I had a visit from André Lobino. Oh, yeah. I hope you didn't mind me giving him your address. Not at all. It was lovely to see him again. He was over the moon when I showed him the manuscript. It's not often he gets that excited. He made a sketch of the Nats' crest to take back to the museum. I believe he's identified the family who bears that crest. I sure hope so. Labino explained who the Hashashin were. Yeah? The cult of the assassins. Oh, boy! I have to go. Already? You only just arrived. Time and tide wait for no man. Okay, I'll see you later. He was a thin-faced, pallid guy with a questionable taste in outlandish clothes. My mother used to dress like that. Hi, André. Hello, Georgie. What's with the long face? Haven't you heard? The tripod was stolen. No kidding. I just don't get it. So many other treasures. And the thieves choose the tripod. A modern-day alchemist, perhaps? Who knows? There's no shortage of crazies in Paris. Hey, I visited Nicole's apartment. Yeah, she told me you came by. Ooh, quite a fine Georgie boy. I didn't expect anything quite so sexy. I hope you're referring to the manuscript. Mais oui, of course. What did you make of the manuscript? It dates from the time of the Crusade. We guessed that from the Templar seal. It's a story and pictures like a modern-day comic book. What story does the manuscript tell? I don't know. It was probably produced for the tourist market. Tourists? Oh, we oui, pilgrims in their thousands on their way to Jerusalem. The tourist trade is nothing new, you know. It's been around for centuries. Ever since Joshua made a packet selling souvenir bricks from the walls of Jericho. Have you deciphered any of the images on the manuscript? There's uh, very little I can be sure about. The slang of the bull could be a reference to uh, Mithras. Who's he? A Persian god, almost as popular as Christ at one time. The only thing I can be sure of is the knight. He's Spanish. How can you tell that? The writing on the shield, the reference to Ave Maria. No self-respecting knight from Northern Europe would have born a coat of arms like that. Can you identify the knight's coat of arms? I already did, Georgie. He's a member of the De Vasconcellos family from the Costa Calida. Were they famous? No. They're not mentioned after the 15th century. Oh. The uh, spotlight of history moved on. They are probably long dead. Do you think the manuscript could be the map to the Templar treasure? Frankly, no. That's too far-fetched. The manuscript is interesting enough and a rare find, but that's all. Wouldn't it be terrific if it was a map, though? The treasure of the Knights Templar. A romantic notion, Georgie, but extremely improbable. Thanks for your help, André. You're welcome.
There was a crotchety old guy watering the lawn. If this garden was all his own work, he was more capable than he looked. Hi, is this the de Vasconcellos house? Who wants to know? I could tell the old coot was going to be trouble. My name's George Stobar. I was wondering whether... The house is not open to the public. This is the de Vasconcellos house. And what business is that of yours, senor? Look, all I want is to speak to the head of the household. There is no household. Only the countess and myself. What do you know about the Templars? Who wants to know? Are you angling for a bribe or something? You have nothing that I want, senor, except the pleasure of your absence. The guy was obviously protecting the countess against the whole world. But why? Tell me about the Countess de Vasconcellos. She doesn't receive guests. That's all you need to know. You don't even know what I have to talk to her about. She hasn't won the lottery, has she? Uh, yeah. That's it. The Countess has won the lottery, and I'm here to give her the check. Marvelous. May I see it? No. I mean, no, I have to deliver it to her in person. The Countess doesn't do the lottery. Oh, for crying out loud, why'd you lead me on, then? To amuse myself. To make you look a fool. To make you go away. Do you know what this is? See, I have a similar tool for opening culverts on the estate. I don't suppose this red nose means anything to you, does it? Ah, El Flojo. El who? El Flojo. He is a clown on state television. Oh, is he any good? He is as funny as scabies, without a laugh. Look at this tissue. It's a tissue with some greasy muck on it. Yes, that's right. Do you recognize this man? No. Would you like to shake hands? I do not think so, senor. Do you recognize this matchbook? I don't smoke. This lab pass mean anything to you? Nothing. See this gem? Men have died for it. Do I look as if I care? Have you got any use for a fistful of plaster? No. What do you make of this? So that's it. You're a salesman. If I was hawking medical supplies, I can think of better places to hawk them. What do you think of this tripod? I think nothing of it. Okay. Well, I'll see you around. Adios. The door was a handsome piece of work, in keeping with the ornateness of the rest of the building. Rats. It's locked. Over the doorway was a statue of a hooded figure bearing a cross. It looked kind of sinister. From a distance, I thought it might be a summer house. Close up, I wasn't so sure. I didn't want to mess with the building.
Hey, you. Yeah? What is it? You would not like it if people just wandered into your home, would you? Well, no, I guess not. Then show a little consideration. Okay. Uh, sorry. It was then I realized I'd left home without my pocket siege engine. The hose ran from some sort of utility room all the way to the lawn. I didn't like the idea of carrying 30 yards of hose around me, so I left it alone. My hose has stopped. Yeah? See, si. my hose never stopped. Well, I'm sorry to hear it. It's always sad when an old tradition comes to an end. Did you have anything to do with it? See, si. you. Well, I'm shocked. I'm mortified. How could you think such a thing? Very easily, senor. Very easily. I'm going to find out why my hose has stopped. And that means going into the house. You are not, absolutely not, to go in the house. If you do go in the house, I will set the dogs on you. I love suits of armor. Who doesn't? I hid behind the armor and waited for developments. Hey, you. I know you are there, American. All right, you dog. I'm coming. It was just a little utility room with no exit, unless you counted the window, and I didn't. There was a big aspidistra sitting on a table in the hall. I didn't want a pot plant. Madre dea, who are you? My name's George Stobart. I'm sorry to burst in like this. You must leave at once. You're not wanted here. Please, if you'd just listen a minute. Very well. State your business, Senor Stobart. There's been a series of murders, part of some conspiracy. Anyway, the trail led me here. Here? There is nothing for the outside world here. Over 600 years ago there was. What do you mean? This whole thing ties in somehow with the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar are dust. They had a secret that was so important, they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. And I do not see what this has to do with my family. Your family had a strong connection with the Templars, right? I believe that they have planted some clues here. <laughs> Why should I believe a, a complete stranger who barges into my home? Just let me have a look around. If I find nothing... Uh, you'll be spending the night at the police station. Very well. Please, 
Notre Dame. Thank you. I know your family is involved with the Templars, but I don't know how. You should be asking how my family were involved, Senor Stobart. The Templars ceased to exist centuries ago. And as the day was congelos, the line died with me. I'm sorry. Don't be. Okay. Whatever happened, happened almost 700 years ago. So, if the Templars left any clues, they're going to be in stuff that dates back to the early 14th century. Obviously. So, what do you have around here that's early medieval? Early medieval. Let me think. Well, the house is relatively modern, a scant three centuries old. Or, of course, the chess set. That chess set is over 600 years old? It must be worth a fortune. Indeed it is. Not that I would part with it, of course. No, I wouldn't either. Uh, that's the sort of thing that gets handed down to your children. Sorry. Its value is less than you might think. The set is not complete. One of the pieces is a modern replacement. As to the original, it was lost a long time ago. Nobody has any idea where it is? No. The children had it when they were taken. Children? What children? All in good time, Senor Stobart. May I examine the chess set? Certainly, but do not move any of the pieces. Okay, thanks. Close up, the modern piece stood out like a sore thumb. There was something else odd about the set. All of the original pieces had irregular bases. My lady, I have to warn you, there's a... You! Why, I'll feed you to the dog. Lopez, what have I told you about feeding intruders to the dog? But, my lady... Never without my permission. Senor Stobart, if I find that you're wasting my time, you will be fed to the dog. Now, I want to show you something interesting. Follow me. Lopez, unlock the door, por favor. This is the only remaining structure on the estate contemporary with the Templars. Nice. What is it, a summer house? A mausoleum, Senor Stobart. Oh. Come with me. Hey, Senor. Yeah? I do not know what you have told my lady to be shown these favors. But I do not trust you. You've got nothing to worry about. Aren't you coming in? No, the dead do not interest me. My garden is a living thing. I will be there. Wow, this is old was constructed in the 13th century as the final resting place for the De Vasconcellos Templars. It's well maintained. These are my ancestors, and they deserve respect. I come here at least once a week to say a prayer for them. Mind if I have a look around? Uh, by all means. It was a rod with a cone and a hook on the end. I guessed it was for snuffing out the big candle in the chandelier. High up in the dome were windows. I guessed they might open them to make it less stuffy in there. I couldn't climb up there without breaking something. Now what? There was nothing to snuff. Feeling like an idiot, I put it down again. big statuette of the Virgin Mary kept an eye on the place. It was too delicate to move. In front of the shrine was a lectern with a Bible on it. On removing the Bible, I found a pattern on the lectern top. Hey, it's a checkerboard! Close up, 
I could see that the pattern was made up of glass squares over a checkerboard pattern. Some of the squares had little jagged holes in the middle. Close up, I could see that the pattern was made up of glass squares over a checkerboard pattern. Some of the squares had little jagged holes in the middle. The mausoleum contained five tombs for five of the Knights Templar, man size in marble. I wasn't about to start heaving at sarcophagus lids with the Countess standing there. Hanging from the ceiling was a huge yellowed candle. It looked really old and had never been lit. I couldn't reach up there. May I ask you something? You may ask. What's the story with the glass chessboard? A glass chessboard? Oh, the pattern on the lectern, purely decorative, I'm sure. There are pieces of glass missing from it. Oh, it has been like that since I was a girl. The gaps in the glass chessboard look awfully deliberate. No, it is ridiculous. What possible significance can it have? It's part of a chessboard, and the gaps are for... Senor Stobart. You... Cannot mean... This place was built for the Templars. Your chess set is as old as the Templars. It's kind of suggestive, isn't it? Is the Virgin Mary really the right person to be sharing a mausoleum with five knights? You are showing your ignorance, Senor Stobart. The Templars were dedicated to the Virgin Mary. That's a big candle. Where would you buy a thing like that from? You could not. It is an antique, unique to my knowledge. Just how old is it? It dates from the Middle Ages, when the Moors controlled Spain. The candle was to be lit as a signal to the estate workers if the Moors attacked. Who exactly are these people? My ancestors. These five men were all members of the Templar. Five ancestors in the order. You must be very proud. Not five. Six. Where's the sixth knight? He was lost to us. You lost an ancestor? It is a family matter. It can have no relevance. Well, it's connected with the curse of the de Vasconcellos, isn't it? Yes, it is. I hope you will honor my desire not to talk about it. Okay. Well, I'll leave it for now. I think this must be it. This is what the manuscript is pointing to. This is extraordinary. Am I to understand that the Templars left a puzzle here? And in all of this time, we failed to realize that there was a puzzle? It was wonderful to watch the Countess change before my eyes. Right. Well, no time for wallowing in self-pity, eh, Senor Stobart? This mystery has had a good long run, but it ends here and now. All those years of fatalism were falling away from her. Lopez! Lopez! Put that hold down and listen! Go to the house and get my chest set! Yes! The old chest set! Oh, damn the game! Now hurry! Am I? This is exciting, is it not? Don't get too excited. I, this could be a blind alley. Oh, I do not believe that for a moment. It's good to see you happy. Happy? <laughs> you know, I think I am. You certainly know your history. What's your opinion of the Templars, Senor Stobart? The Templars? Well, they seem no worse than a lot of the knightly orders. Uh, you are mistaken. Compared to the simpering politicians of the Hospitallers or the Brutish Teutonics, the Knights Templar were the embodiment of chivalry. The tipsy, money-grabbing French king and his pet pope did a great wrong. 
a bane settled upon my family at the whim of that sense-seeking tyrant. It was all a long time ago. Some things don't die. Injustice is one of them. While we're waiting, I'd really like to know what happened here. I mean, the curse and everything? It all began at the time of the dissolution of the Templars. Don Carlos had already left their ranks to become a scholar. Don Carlos? Is he the guy who went missing? He. Uh, but he had reckoned without the local bishop. The bishop envied us our land and determined to use the papal edict as an excuse to destroy us. Don Carlos was on one of his scholarly journeys when the Inquisition arrived. When Don Carlos returned, it was to find his loyal manservant slain and his children gone. They took the kids? But why? Oh, we will never know. The bishop denied all knowledge of the children's disappearance. But witnesses had seen his men kill the servant who had been charged to protect them. What happened to Don Carlos? Uh, he swore he'd find his children if he had to go to the edge of the world. He put on his armor and took up his sword and shield and rode out alone. He was never seen again. Ah, Lopez, you have the pieces. See, si, my lady, as you asked. Por favor, senor Sobart, would you be so kind? My lady. Calm yourself, Lopez. I believe senor Sobart's motives are pure. Very well, my lady. My lady seems to trust you. But you don't. No, senor. It fits, Senor Sobat. It fits. Working quickly, I found which pieces went into which holes.
ten years robot. Look. What is that? It's not. It's not the Holy Grail, is it? No, Senor Stobak. It is the communion chalice of the De Vasconcelos, missing for almost 700 years. Wow. Well, go on. I... I cannot. I can hardly believe it is real. Ah, uh, go ahead. Live a little. I was sure. This is your moment of triumph, Senor Stobak. Sure, I'm sure. The possibility of death traps only occurred to me a few days later. So the curse of the De Vasconcellos is lifted? Oh, no. The Countess was thrilled to find the lost chalice, but there's still the riddle of the missing knight. Well, you can forget about that now and get back to finding the Temple of Secrets. Uh, actually, I promised the Countess I'd find Don Carlos. You what? I can explain everything. You have got the odds for a withered old Spanish aristocrat? The Countess entrusted me with the chalice and the quest for her ancestor's tomb. You're as crazy as she is. Haven't you got enough problems? Khan and the Templars? It's all part of the same thing. The chalice is important, I'm sure. The manuscript pointed us to the knight, and I have to find him. What then? I don't know. But when the knight and the chalice are reunited, maybe I will. This is the chalice I discovered in Spain. I still can't figure out why the Countess gave it to you. After losing it for all those years, she simply gave it away to a total stranger. She's one prawn short of a paella. The Countess is a fine lady. You shouldn't compare her with seafood. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something going on between you and that Countess. Are you serious? She's old enough to be my grandmother. I have to go. Okay, I'll see you later. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this, don't forget to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe. And click on that pop-out box for the next video. ...for a very long time, and you can just drop those guns. You're impressing nobody.